Hi everybody, it is I, Miss Laura, and it is time for our story time craft of the week. So this week we are going to be making a paper plate turtle. So if you come by the library, you're gonna find these little craft packs up on our table, and it will say story time turtle. And on it, you will have a paper plate and a little blue bag that has everything you're gonna need to help decorate your turtle. Now, some other things that you might wanna have handy is some type of glue. I'm gonna be using white glue, but you can probably also use stick glue as well. Um, and if you want to decorate the turtle shell, crayons, paint, whatever it is that you wish to use. All right, so let's begin. So I will show you everything that's going to be in our craft pack in case you want to do this at home and didn't get a chance to come by the library. So we have one paper plate. We have a couple of googly eyes. We have bits of green paper of cut up of various shapes and sizes. Now you can add other colors to this too. If you're doing this at home or if you wanna add more color to your turtle, just cut up some colored paper. It can be pink, orange, brown, whatever you want. You should have four little semicircle looking oval shapes for feet, a longer one for a head, and then a skinny one for a tail. Alrighty, so let us begin. So first of all, your plate, you wanna flip it over so it's upside down, all right? And then we are going to begin. So I am going to start with the head and hopefully my glue will help out here and participate for my craft time, because usually it doesn't. So it just needs a little strip of glue, and you are gonna affix it to the rim of your plate, like so. So there's a little lip right here. That's what I'm kind of aiming for, okay? So, and then you're going to repeat that process with the tail. Now the tail, you can have a really long tail. You can make it a really short tail, just however you want, okay? So again, add a strip of glue and attach it up under the lip of your plate. There we go, and you can kind of fill it if you want to. You can flip it over, and that way you can see what you're doing, however you want. There we go. And then you repeat that process with the feet. So I will quickly do our feet. Doot, doot. And one more. Fun fact, I used to be a turtle owner. I had two red-eared mud sliders. They were named Fred and Ginger. And I got them for my 16th birthday. When I got them, they were about this big. And when they finally departed me, they were just about the size of this paper plate. It took two hands to pick them up. I had them for, hmm, I think about close to 20 years. So they were with me a very long time. In fact, they were with me so long that even my children got to enjoy my turtles. All right, so once you get all your feet and head and tail on, Feel free to decorate them however you wish to. The next step that I am going to do is I'm going to add two drops of glue for the eyes. One and two. There you go. And we will add those eyes on there like so. And the nice thing about white glue is it dries clear so you don't have to worry about all that glue that pops up. Now if you want to, you can add a mouth on there, you can add little nose on there, uh, just however you want. Now this next bit is fun. You're just going to randomly put glue on the shell, maybe. I'm just going to kind of do it like this for the sake of the video. If you want to glue one piece on at a time, by all means do so. 
and this will allow me to get a pretty good coverage on there for my pieces. And then you just start sticking them on there however you want. And like I said, now if you want to color your shell, you want to do that before you begin any gluing on of parts. And there you go. And again, you can decorate the little squares as you put them on or the funny shapes. Don't forget to get along the side of your shell. Another fun fact with turtles and tortoises is the shells are actually attached to their body. Some people think they're kind of like um, a hermit crab and that they can come out of their shell, but that is not so. Their shell has part of their skeleton system and blood vessels and they can get injured. So if a turtle gets dropped and cracks its shell, it's just like if you got a boo-boo on your hand and it, and it could cause them pain. So um, that's just another interesting tidbit there for you. All right, so you can kind of see how this project is supposed to go. I am going to stop right here and I hope you have fun making your own little turtle. And the nice thing about this turtle is, unlike my turtles, you don't have to worry about feeding it and, you know, um, passing it along from one generation to the next. Alrighty. Well, I hope you have fun. As always, share a picture with me. All right. Bye-bye.